57 dead as U.S. Army are deployed to partner with Nigerian soldiers at the war ground. Yes, it's a very good move um, by the U.S. Army. You see, the U.S. Army has finally fulfilled their promise to the Nigerian government. You see, if the Nigerian government has been um, seeking for support like this, sincerely, not the, the not trickishly, whereby they will send soldiers to the war to the war ground and uh, and and the, the ones who are the sponsors of the Boko people will now go behind to inform the Boko people and give them information on how to um, get down the soldiers that they trickishly sent to the war ground. You understand? So I think that um, the, the the war was successful because of the, uh, the 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 involvement of the U.S. Army. You know, they can they can never uh, be able to understand the formation of the U.S. Army. And you know now, the U.S. Army are incomparable. You understand, and undefeatable. So that is why you saw that the Nigerian army and soldiers were successful. It's a testimony anyway. But then I will say that um, if um, a, a, a continuous hand of support can continue to, to go to these uh, soldiers, I know they will make uh, a great move. And this issue of Boko people will be a thing of the past. It's a testimony anyway. Let's quickly uh, check on the contents. And get what they are trying to say to us uh, correctly. This is evening news. Troops Operation Hadinkai OPHK have eliminated more than 57 Boko people in different operations conducted from August 11th to 25th in the Northeast Defense Headquarters. This has been made possible through the helping hand and support given by the u.s army the director of defense media operation major general musa damadin made the, this known at a bi-weekly news briefing of the defense headquarters on thursday in abuja damadini said the operations were conducted through land and air raids on the boko people and islamic states of west african province iswap enclaves in bono and yubi he said the operations also led to the killings of unspecified number of Boko people in a number of airstrike, with more than 18 of them seriously wounded. He added that eight suspected Boko people and four Boko people logistics suppliers were apprehended as well as rescue of four civilian victims during the period. According to him, a total of 1,652 Boko people and their families comprising of 320 adult males, 442 women and 890 youths surrounded to troops at different locations within the period. The air component on August 20th carried out strikes on the Boko people enclaves in Sambisa forest and the tumbons in Bono with various degree of success recorded. It's a testimony. It's a testimony. So just like I, I've just said, that if a continuous support like this, if the support will continue like this, I know definitely that the Nigerian uh, military will keep recording victory like this. You understand? But then they are willing, but the Nigerian government are the ones that have been abusing the helping hand. Yes, of course, I know. I know the military are, are very, very willing to help. I know the military are very, very willing to assist, but the Nigerian government and their deceitful nature has been the reason why we kept failing. You understand what I'm saying? And that is just it. So, my dear um, people and my dear listeners in the house, um, I would like us to look into this very um, matter and to know what we think and what we feel that should happen in this very broadcast it's a pleasure 
all right so please and please and please um don't forget your own comments and idea on this um brokers are 100 welcome because it's a celebration all right so please don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you